Hello friends of Max, my name is Vitaly Mikitenko. I'm a senior customer architect at Anypoint Control Plan support team here down under. Today we are going to talk about how Anypoint Studio can help us to ensure our applications are better prepared to run in Cloud Hub environment on tiny fraction of the co-workers. Let's start from iterating what problems we face. We developed an application in Studio, did some testing, all looked perfectly fine. Then the application was deployed to the production and application worker starts crashing and restarting due to some reason. Of course, we want to understand what has happened. Unfortunately, Cloud Hub has limited set of tools we can use here. So what do we do? We contact Nilsoft support who will help us to figure out what's wrong. However, it may lead to an unwanted prolonged downtime until the root cause is identified and the issue is resolved. Why this happens? Let's review some contributors here. An application may suffer from a shortage of disk space. As we all know, Cloud Hub workers are limited here. In addition to that, fractional eco workers also have burstable resources like CPU and I.O. And the overall TPS may be well subpar to the performance figures obtained using the engineer's latest laptop. Also, an app design might require, for example, more heap or direct memory than the actual fraction of a coworker can provide. Not to mention, due to, for instance, time constraints, the capacity planning exercise was not conducted as planned and the application just cannot hold the production load. To sum up, a laptop running in Hippoint Studio just had more room for everything. Let's agree on that. Even if heap size allocated can be compared, there is a little room in Cloud Hub's virtual machine for a manure. Should we quickly need to move some memory pages around? Considering the above, let's talk a bit about new memory allocations available in Cloud Hub for fractional eco workers. Take a look at the memory allocations for a typical 0.1 or 0.2 Vico worker. In general, every worker has around 50% of memory allocated for heap and the rest is distributed between Java native memory consumers like Metaspace or direct memory or code cache. In addition, a virtual machine itself also needs some resources to keep functioning. As you can see, the space is pretty limited and it must be taken into consideration when choosing the worker size. Now when we know what small Cloud Hub we call workers can provide, taking into account limited troubleshooting tools available for end users, let's talk about what we can do about it locally. Similar to the screenshots on the slide, by using run as mule application configure menu, we of course won't be able to completely replicate the fractional eco workers. On the other hand, we can get as much close as practically possible to memory limitations set by Cloud Hub and use those to our advantage when preparing applications. Let me try demonstrating the approach suggested above. For this matter, we have a simple application developed to process a large CSV file and encode it using Base64. It works perfectly fine in Studio. However, after deployment to a 0.1 vCore application worker, it starts crashing. Let's have some hands-on with this scenario. Here on the screen you see the application that implements the transformation from a previous slide successfully deployed locally in Studio. It is deployed with the default memory configuration parameters for the embedded runtime. As you can see, no VM arguments are observed here. Uh, let's send there request and see how does it go. So in the application console we should see two logged messages. First one would be that uh, flow received the message and second that transformation has been completed and we should see a successful response uh, that base64 encoding is done. So at this stage we decide that it's a good idea to deploy our application to Cloud Hub uh, to 0.1 vCo Worker. This is the instance of the application deployed to Cloud Hub, 0.1 vCo Worker. And let's send a test request to this application and see how does it go. 
as we already know, the difference in memory uh, occupation between default studio embedded runtime parameters and CloudHub 0.1 is that the CloudHub 0.1 we call okay has twice less memory for heap. So as you can see, we have not received back a successful 200 response with the message that base64 transformation has been completed. Uh, unlike a successful response, we received empty server request, server, server response. Uh, and if we download the application log file here, you would see here that the application has died due to lack of the heap memory. Okay, so what we do, we come back to studio and we start thinking how we can improve this. So let's give it a try to the suggested approach of simulating 0.1 vCore application worker in studio. Let's open the configuration and let's add the memory parameters here. Apply, run. The studio will redeploy the application. And then we will send another request to this application, trying to see if we get a successful response or not. Any moment now. Okay, the application has deployed. Let's send the request. Uh, as you can see, the flow has received a request, but BAMS, we got the Java heap space error and the JVM has crashed in Studio straight away with the memory parameters similar to 0.1 we call worker. Hmm, at this stage we think it is maybe a good idea to deploy the application using a larger application worker. Let's give it a try simulating it with the 0.2 memory configuration parameters. Let's delete those. Let's add new configuration where we define 960 megabytes for heap and let's run the application again. Okay, application deployed. Let's have another test. Let's send a request again. Let's come back to Studio Console and see request has been received and the request has been processed. We got the 200 response back saying that base64 encoding has been successfully completed. So at this stage we assume that our application may successfully run on 0.2 Vico worker. Therefore, we have redeployed our application to 0.2 application worker. 0.2 vCore application worker. As you can see, it's the same application deployed to 0.2 vCore. And let's send the request to, to 0.2 vCore. Let's check the, the log console in Anypoint Runtime Manager. So we've got the message that request has been received. We've got the next message that the processing has been done. Uh, the same we can see in terminal window saying that base64, CSV to base64 processing and encoding has been completed successfully. So at this stage, we may conclude that in terms of capacity required for this particular type of application, we need at least 0.2 vCore application worker. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. It's time to summarize what we have learned. To begin with, it is clear that we can prepare our applications for the Cloud Hub deployment much better by adopting this approach. Next, a capacity planning exercise might take less efforts as the memory utilization estimate can be done even before deploying to the UAT environment. 
This, of course, will definitely allow to reduce a chance of downtime caused by a memory shortage in the future. As a result, the overall user journey has less bumps on the way, leading to the improved experience. However, please note, this approach does not take into account factors like CPU cores, IO performance and disk-free space. We can probably talk about it in the future sessions. The information presented here is available in the MuleSoft documentation at docs.mulesoft.com and knowledge base at help.mulesoft.com. You can use the provided keywords for searching. If you have faced any issues using our products and answers cannot be obtained from these sources, do not hesitate to contact MuleSoft support. We will be glad to help you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.